Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World, the game where I get the title correct. Yes, yes, we got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, yeah, I'm blocking off my, my, my thing now. I can't get the sample. There it is. All right, so we are in Jurassic World again. It has been a hot second since we've been here, but there has been something added to the game that is technically the best of what it is. And for the longest time, we have had a Metrophodon be the best flyer in the game. And, you know, flyers are good against amphibians, and amphibians are good against carnivores. So really, all you need in your team is two types. You either need carnivores and flyers, or you need herbivores and amphibians, because they counter their own weakness. They sort of cover each other's bases. You don't want, like, three or three different types in a, in a team. You want two. two. Two is the best. Maybe two of one and one of the other. But it has just come to my attention, or not come to my attention, I just finally got around to having the time to record something like this, because we've been busy with other things, oh, you might have seen in the channel, uh, but we'll quickly just collect this pack, because we are going to need it, because this thing is going to be expensive, I'm not expecting to max it up in this video, and maybe we could get level 30, definitely level 20, um, so I'll just quickly hatch this guanlong, because I just put that in there, so I can, I mean, I'm continuously harvesting epic uh, creatures just to sort of, you know, <laughs> I need the DNA for, for this precise thing. Also, not only are we going to be, you know, sh we're not showcasing this, this is the newest thing that's came out, which we will be showcasing, we got this. Clever Girl is coming. Compete in the upcoming tournament to unlock the infamous blue. I'm really surprised that, do we not have blue already? Or if we have blue, maybe it's not, um... Maybe it wasn't, like, unlockable? It was just sort of... Yeah, no, we do have blue. Okay, so blue, if I remember correctly, yes, blue was a kind of creature, a dinosaur, that you got, I think, in the season pass sort of thing. So you never unlocked blue, but you could get a level 10. And if you did the season pass, you would get, like, a level 20, I think. So we have an attempt to evolve... But we obviously we don't have another one and we can't get another one. And we have a code, which we don't really care because it's only 30 DNA. Uh, but the newest thing that has been added into this game, if we go into hybrids and should be able to scroll down, it should be there. There it is. It is one, well, you know, it's got a face only a mother could love. It is the Scapagontus. Oh, God, I don't even know. Secodontogonathus. That's it. And luckily, we have... Lo Actually, well, you know what we could do? Ooh, ooh. I might have quite a few. Like, I've already got level 20. That makes it level 30. And what about the other one? What's its, uh, what's its fusion? It's the Seco Secodontosaurus. Because I'm wondering, instead of spending, like, 70,000 DNA on, you know, making another one, I might have enough to fuse two. Secodontosaurus. Uh, there it is. Oh, I only have one. Ah, never mind. And I, yes, I don't have any of them. Well, there we go. That's, that there goes that theory. So now if we fuse these two creatures, we're going to go with the instant fuse because it saves us bucks. And it's seeing as it costs a thousand for one, here it is. Now, apparently this is better than Metrophodon better than El Tyranno Moxies or whatever it's called, Zalmoxy hybrid. Um, I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. So we've lost our second on the source, but we've gained this beast. So, oh, it actually, it's making T-Rex sound effects. Ah, classic. So it has a spine on its back. It's like a spino flying hybrid thing. That's the title. That's what we'll use for clickbait. Yes. Uh, the most striking thing about this flying dinosaur is the forehead crest that merges uh, with its back sail. It's forehead crest that merges. I don't know about merging. I mean, it has both, yeah? I, I would just say the back sail is probably the most interesting. That or its giant freaking chin. Oh, this is a uh, 90 off. Oh, and man, I'm busy. I've lost where I am now. This little bugger. <laughs> Do you want to get this for like chain, like pocket change? No. Right, here we go. So we'll feed it up to level 10. Oh, oh, is this, is this a new? No, I don't think it is. This isn't a new one. I thought it might be in a new animation, but I feel like that has been one that's existed in the game for a while. So, 1,785 health, 837 attack. So already it's like better than most epic or legend. Is it legendary in this game? God, I don't know. I get them confused. I can't just keep them the same. Legendary is red in Dress with Live, but it's legendary is gold in this game. Uh, so we can evolve it, but we need one more. 
very curious how much this is going to cost. And I'm assuming we don't have any, like, percentage off. So it's going to cost us full amount. And it is... 61,000. So we're not talking like ignonto, ignona suit, iguana suit, just igno. <laughs> or even armor, armor matter, which is 83,000. No. We're actually taking like 20,000 off for a 61,000. So there's Metrophodon and there's Psychodontogonathus. So Psychodontogonathus has, you know, an extra 1,000, well, 900 health. But it does have 2,200 less attack. So actually, maybe it's not as good as Metrophodon. Less than a thousand DNA that you would spend getting a Metrophodon. Oh, sorry, getting the second on the Whatever. Basically, you spend 1,000 extra getting the Metrophodon. And for that, you lose 900 health, which, you know, is a, it's a fair amount, especially when the health is so low. But you gain 2,200 attack. Usually, it's like, oh, well, I gain you know, maybe 200 attack, uh, but I lose 600 health. And that kind of makes sense because the more attack you do, the more it stacks. So you want to be, you want to be like trading attack for like five times or four times as much as health, basically. Um, but this way, it's actually the reverse. You're trading 900 health for 2,200 attack. It should be the other way around really to make sense. So for 1,000 extra, I would probably rather get another Metrophodon if I'm going to be honest. Uh, just because that attack is nuts. But the thing is, if we spend the money on a Metrophodon, we're only getting level 10. This way, if we spend the money, we're getting a level 20, which will be way better than a level 10. So we will get that. Uh, we will use the 500 bucks for an instant hatch, because good God. Uh, we'll place this guy down. We'll feed you, and then we'll evolve you with an instant fuse, and you'll get some color. Ooh, look at you. Secodontogonathus. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forget about that. Oh, look, it's got some color. It's purple and yellow. Very nice complimentary colors there. We're going to do level 20, 3,058 health, and 1,434 attack. Putting it, you know, over tournament level creatures, getting onto level 40 uh, VIP creatures at this rate. So we would need to spend another 120,000 to get it to level 30. And that would mean we'd have to buy two more. And at that rate, if we're buying two more, logically, we should be buying Metrophodon because we keep this at level 20 and also get another level 20 Metrophodon. However, if we get this to level 30, we only have one creature. And in this game, when it comes to tournaments, you want more creatures that are good than like one or two or a handful that are very good because they're going to take a long time to cool down and you're not going to have time to, you know, grind for the tournaments and the cups and stuff uh, in order to unlock the best pack you can get. So my gaming beaver, gaming beaver top to approach is to not get this to level 30 and in fact invest in a Metrophodon level 20. Yes. But saying that, this is, you know, this is what I do. So we do kind of want to get it to, you know, level 40. We're not going to be able to get level 40. We're going to get it to level 20. Um, and it's just a shame to see all of my beautiful, my beautiful DNA go into this thing. But you know what? We want to see everything max up. Another level 30. Call me when there's a real emergency. Oh, and God. Not when you break it with Claire again. <laughs> Uh, we'll do another 61,000 instant hatch. So we spent 1,500 bucks. You know, it's a lot, but for what we're doing, you know, it, it's pretty good. Uh, also, I don't know if it's the case, but there may be... I feel like somebody tweeted at me or said something about, like, VIPs collecting a certain gift in-game. I was like, no way. They can't just be giving people who are VIPs special treatment, uh, apart from, you know, what they've already got. Even now, every month that I'm paying for VIP, I get nothing. <laughs> just get, like, my previous rewards. That's a bit sucky. It'd be good if at least every month I get something for it. Yeah. As opposed to just, like, you know, holding my upgrades hostage so if I stop, I they're gone. Uh, but here we go, another level 20. So at this rate, you know, maybe we didn't get the level 20 Metrophodon. But at least we got two level 20 Seco... Seco... That one. Um, so they've each got, you know, what, 3,058 health and 1,434 attack. So, you know, putting them in a team, pretty solid. Now, this is where if you can make a level 40, maybe go for it. 
Uh, if you, uh, when you've got two level 20s and you can make, you know, two more level 20s. At this point, just keep your level 20s. I would rather have four level 20s than a level 40 at this rate. But because for science, we're going to instant fuse this guy to a level 30. So already 3,769 health and 1,767 attack. So a little bit more color, a little bit more vibrant. Now it looks like it's had some mud chucked on it. Very interesting. And we get it to level 30, giving it 4,662 attack and 2,152 uh, attack. I think that was. Anyway, it's 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 a fair amount. It's not bad. Uh, it's actually, yeah, I mean. It's getting there. It really is. Now, in order to get a level 40, we're going to need 240,000 DNA. And we didn't even have that to start with, I'm pretty sure. We were on like 220,000 DNA. Um, and that's not factoring in the extra 4,000. And all the DNA, you know, you need to use DNA in order to fuse. So there it is. The level 30 Secogonanthus. Or Secodontogonathus. <laughs> And you know what? We can actually get some DNA back, I think. Uh, the Seca Secodontogonathus back sail helps to ma maintain equilibrium while flying. I would just think it would be a pain in the ass because you couldn't really bend your flapping, right? Anyway, but th this is this is what it is. 100 books, that was it. The jaws of the Secodontogonathus, that one, are lined with sharp teeth designed for rending the medium-sized vertebrates that make up its food. Okay. And the final one uh, gives... Oh, it's got a little bit more spikes. Would be the second one of its name means con oh, cutting tooth jaw, which reflects its terrible bite. Well, you never mentioned its terrible bite. You're talking about its underbite? What are we talking about here? Anyway, that's uh, that done. We're, oh, 600 not Complete 80 daily objectives. Yeah, this thing's almost gone. In four days, it'll be gone. So we'll see what we can get. Boom, boom, boom. And unfortunately, this time, I didn't... Oh, yeah, there's a new claim all button. The mo Ooh, a land and sea arrival part. Oh, that's quite interesting. Ooh, I like that. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get any, like, pass to the uh, the season pass for this one, which is unfortunate, because uh, we could have got a whole bunch of other things. But really, even if it is a new creature like this, you don't unlock it when it comes to the season pass. You need to do tournaments to unlock those. So there's only so much that they're really useful for. Uh, there's also a Brachiosaurus tournament, which I've already got Brachiosaurus, so I'm not going to bother. And I'm, I'm spending a lot of time doing other things, I, you know, back in the day. But <laughs> back in the good old days, when I didn't do many other, other games, just World the game, it just came out, I would spend hours and hours daily just doing tournaments. Now... I don't have the time. <laughs> so if I've already got it, then, you know, I, I definitely don't do it. Um, but we do have this. Ooh, a Battle Stage Infinite Pack. Now, where does a level 30 Seco Gontodonathus, or whatever you want to call it, um, fit in the lineup? So you've got Zalmonodon, you've got Metrophodon. So even Zalmonodon, I think, might have more... No. No, 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 it won't have more attack. But it has a, you know, if you want more health, go for Zalmonodon. If you want more attack, go for Metrophodon. I think the level 30 of that guy is it's just a bit too not really worth it. <laughs> oh, you look at this. A Dometrocarnus, technically a free hybrid, I suppose, as long as you get Carnotaurus, um, the Conoraptor hybrid, is around about the same at level 30. It is actually, wow, look at that. Level 40 Ostoposaurus, level 40 Rajasteger. And this level 30 second Dontosaurus is way better than it. I kind of want to check out the uh, the cost of those guys. Because are they still super expensive? Hold on. What, what before we do a battle? I am very curious. We're going to market. We're going to hybrids. Right, so I've got, I've got a few of these, so I can't check their DNA. Now, where's Roger? Right. Oh, God. Yeah, the the initial hybrids were actually quite cheap. 20,000. You could get three Kool Super Kool-Aids for the price of one uh, Secodonto Flyy thing. Uh, 31,000 for the Ostoposaurus. Ooh, it would be interesting to do a deep dive and just, like, calculate how much you get for your DNA and what is technically the best dinosaur in Jurassic World the game to get. That would be a good video to do, actually. You'd have to have some sort of, like, calculation to factor in health and attack into a stat and then divide by the DNA. Because nobody cares about coin at this point, you get hybrids. So, and then 
how much, you know, like 100 DNA gets you for that stat. That would be very, I might, mm, mm. Oh, I might be very interested in what is technically... Yes, that might be a good video. We'll do that in the future. But as far as time goes now... Uh, oh, I don't have the Tyranno Quetzer, uh, which actually has 10,000 health. Good God. But is probably not... is cheaper than Zalmonodon, I suppose. Zalmonodon, you, you know, you save like 6,000 DNA and you lose 400 attack, but you gain 2,000 health. So Zalmonodon is even better than this thing. Don't get it. If you if you want to attack, go with Metrophodon. If you want health, save money or DNA and go for Zalmonodon. Like that. Yeah, I'm very very curious. Uh, I I want to know what's the the worst hybrid for your DNA and what's the best hybrid for the amount of DNA you get, or if there's even a calculation. Obviously, there's certain ones that I can't calculate. Um, because you've got this one. Oh no. Well, yeah. I guess I could find out how much it costs. I'm sure there's some sort of site out there. But yeah, out of all the ones, there's only like one or two that of all the hybrids in the lands that I don't have. But it'd be interesting to see what what is technically the best. Anyway, let's do this battle stage infinite because you get good prizes from these. And it, it costs like, what, a, thousand, a million to enter, which is coin and it's free. Um, so this one's a tricky one because there's three types in. Um, the safest one we can go for is all carnivals, which is actually really good. Um, and we're gonna need that bus, uh, the, the, bu the bus, we need the bus, we need that buff, there we go, we need the buff, really, because Cyanoceratops has 13,000 health, so, I mean, not only are we gonna nerf his attack, which is arguably, it's the second best, I suppose, to take down attack, but it's the health, um, I'm saying that, though, Pyraptor has 14,000 as well, and more attacks, so Pyraptor's really the one we need to worry about. Uh, but that being said, we'll go for... Hmm. Hmm. Something that has more than 7,000 health is what we need, really. Udon, in this game, is pretty much the same as in an Indoraptor. So we could go for that. Uh, but I'll save Indoraptor just in case. That is probably... Actually, you know what? Pachygalosaurus is the best. Because... I don't think we could die from three hits from a Dimorphodon. We die from the three hits from a Pyraptor, but not a Dimorphodon, so we'll go for that. So I know, also, 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 on the loading screen, you'll notice is Rexy. So I think, actually, there has been, uh, like, a post from either, I think it was a Chinese account or a Russian account, that's showing us all the upcoming dinosaurs. Uh, and Rexy and Blue being in there. There's also some other ones that I'm not really too sure. If I can find it, I'll put it in this video. Otherwise, maybe it was in the thumbnail. I don't know. <laughs> but it has, it's been a long time since I've made a video on Jurassic World, the game, that's like, what is the best dinosaur? Oh, but I think, really, what's the best dinosaur for DNA? Like, what what's the best one you can get as far as hybrids and other dinosaurs go? Um... So we got hit by another one. So he's got like one block. Uh, one, two, three. We'll factor in the one just in case. So yeah, not looking so bad. Oh, wait, no, he's still alive. Uh, well, unless he goes for an all-out attack, we're also still not looking bad. Oh, very good. Yes. I think I might be tempted now just to go for four reserves and two blocks at this point. Because um, we've done so much damage to him. He can just kill me in two hits. So he really needs... He needs to go for four here. And that would mean all of his goes gone. Okay, still needs to go for uh, four hits. Okay, so that is two turns wasted. One to switch in and one to attack. So he's got a block of two. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two. And then, you know what? We may as well get rid of him. Okay, he didn't go for any of his blocks, but we have killed the biggest threat to our team. And that was the Pyraptor. Not only with the most attack, but also the most health. Um, however... So Morphodon is going to come in with like six. And he's going to go for three out of his six. So we're going to take a beating for the next turn. Um, I will go for four reserves and one block. Because chances are they will go for a load. I mean, I could go for four attacks. Guaranteeing the kill. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to just in case. So one, two. He has to go for three to kill me. So he has to go for four. Oh, there it is. And that is a victory. Look at him with little jester hat. Scorpius Rex. No. Sarazinosaurus. Right. Okay. 
Um, right, one attack, yes, because then it's dead. Uh, I'm 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 pretty fairly confident I can go for that. Four reserves, three block. It definitely can't kill me in one. And ooh, two, four, six couldn't even kill me in three. But I couldn't put any more into reserve, so I'm good. Oh no, two attack! What will we do? I know, survive. All right. So now we go for like so much attack. The max attack that this thing can do is 105,000 damage. And unfortunately, unfortunately. Sinoceratops doesn't want us to do that. And we go for measly 63,000 damage. And all of that using really good creatures. Yeah, there's the Rexy. So we're getting Rexy. And I mean, we've already had the boss fight, which was Mortem Rex, I think, in the game. So 100 DNA, as well as... Oh, even more DNA. Oh, lots of DNA. Some books. Some VIP points, which we don't really need a, a great deal. And then we could spend 288 books... On a rare pack, which does guarantee us at least 500 um, DNA or 500 bucks. I mean, we're going to get one or the other, basically. I, I feel like it's 200. You, you get it. You've played this game. I don't need to explain how this game works. You guys are pros. Um, so we do have some battles. We do have some other things. But I am actually going to start working on that video. Oh, there we go. 18. I still don't know what to do with these. This, You know, I don't even get the rule. I, if I did actually... Play the game a lot and get all of this. I'm sure I'd be on like 20,000 boss DNA. And I guess you could use that to level up those bosses. But honestly, the prizes for the bosses aren't worth it. Like if they did good prizes for the boss battles, I might level up. and I might, you know, I, I might play the game more, Lydia. But at the moment, well, what are the prizes for the boss battles? Like what? You may get up. You've got a 1% chance to get this. Which is not going to happen. But really, you've got a 40% chance for But actually, there was a male... Um, thing that came through and it was in the markets and I got like thousands upon thousands of amber. Um, oh, there's no hybrids to get. Yes. How about we just do all? Can I not do? Yeah, all creatures. So I have all of these. What's the most expensive that I can get out of all this? So basically I can get three more Dimetrodons if I wanted to or I could get all these so I can convert the amber into DNA by selling it afterwards. However, you know, it will be interesting to, you know, maybe make people want to do the Amber Battles is to make an exclusive dinosaur just for Amber, a bit like you've done with VIP. You know, and, you know, the Amber, it's, you can win it. It's not like opening packs is like the only way you get it with VIP points. You could earn this another way, more legitimately. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. What were your thoughts on the new uh, Flyer Hybrid? Am I correct? Is it kind of a waste of time? Feels like it is. I mean, really, there's only two things you... There's only two stats that really matter in this game, and that's health and attack. And it don't have either of those. Or DNA, I guess. There's a, there's a third one. It's like, how much does it cost? How much health? And how much damage does it do? And if it doesn't have any of those, it's not the cheapest, doesn't have the most health, and doesn't have the most attack, I don't care. <laughs> Pretty much when it comes to, you know, spending that much. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, guys, for the third time, do the outro, probably this time. I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye